Cambridge Muslim College, training the next generation of Muslim thinkers. To begin, as many of you will be aware, AI has had multiple waves of interest over the past few decades. At the peak of an earlier wave in the late 1990s, the most prominent AI lab at the time at MIT had an adjunct theologian working alongside AI technologists, scientists and engineers. During this time, a series of lectures under the title God and Computers, Mind, Machine and Metaphysics ran over the semester, which involved 10 talks from eminent AI practitioners of the era who directly addressed issues of theology and philosophy raised in connection with their research in AI. At our present time, the level of intellectual philosophical discussion is eclipsed by the level of technical work in the field. And of course, the situation is more acute for theology, where the level of discussion really goes beyond the superficial. Hence, it is assumed that questions of intelligence and mind are solely the province of cutting edge science and technology. However, this has not always been the case. For example, a founding figure of the cybernetic precursor to AI, Warren McCulloch, discussed how he was motivated by the deeply philosophical question of what is a number that a man may know it, and what is a man that he may know a number. Looking further back into history, we find that digital metaphysics has not been merely incidental to the project of AI, but is at the very origins of the concept of the digital. It is well known that Newton was deeply religious. However, the revolutionary figure whose ideas gave birth to digital computing also followed a deeply religious path. I'm referring to here, here to George Boole, whose work has been fundamental. In 1833, age 17, Boole described a mystical experience. To quote, the thought flashed upon him suddenly one afternoon as he was walking across a field that his main ambition in life was to explain the logic of human thought and to delve analytically into the spiritual aspects of man's nature through the expression of logical relations in symbolic or algebraic form. He said, we are not to regard truth as the mere creation of the human intellect. And he said further, it is given to us to discover truth. And the purpose of his study of mathematics and nature was simply to justify the ways of God to man. According to his biographer, his binary algebra in which the number one symbolized the universal class quite possibly, quite possibly reflected his Unitarian belief in the unity of God. Hence, not only have the questions posed by AI and neuroscience been the domain of philosophers and theologians uh, for millennia, philosophy and theology have been at the very origins of the field, so it is most obvious to situate the latest findings about the nature of intelligence at the intersection of philosophy and th theology, as we will do over the next two days of this conference. Cambridge Muslim College, training the next generation of Muslim thinkers.